the Biafran war is over. I believe in Biafra, but the Biafra I believe in is economic Biafra. If I Osai claims. Yes, I agree. The Biafran war is over, but but the call and the agitation for the freedom of the people is still very much on. Until the Biafrans are, uh, are granted their, uh, their, their, their request or their call or what they are calling for. The federal government has not really given the Biafrans what they are demanding for. Yes, I am saying this because um, the Biafran deserves their freedom. They deserve the, 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 that very republic of theirs. I remember vividly well what, um, uh, what the Biafran warlord said when the flag of Biafran was handed over to go on. He said it clearly that this agitation will repeat itself if the people are not given the, uh, the leadership, the, the real leadership that they deserve. So what are we saying? Let's check the content. This is today's news. According to the report from the Sun, the deputy governor of Enugu State, Ifai Osai, emphasized the importance of economic development for the Igbo community while acknowledging the sacrifices made by individuals for Ndi Igbo. He advocated for a shift towards economic advancement, highlighting the need to revitalize the Igbo economic through infrastructure projects like the rail system and the utilization of seaports. Osai urged Southeast states to prioritize economic growth and leverage their resources, such as coal deposits, to unlock the region's potentials and reduce dependence on marginalization discourse. He said, Governor Mba commends those who sacrifice for Ndibo, including those living and dead. The Biafran war is over. I believe in Biafra, but the Biafra I believe in is economic Biafra. Let us seek ways of reviving the Igbo economy. The past administration made the rail system a part of the concurrent list. South East should key into this. Um, you see, that is why the Biafrans are angry with our uh, our leaders, most especially the Igbo leaders. The, the if you don't support your people, how do you think that uh, your people will be able to survive? You are the ones giving this. Uh, these people ruling the power to sit on the economy of the southeast to sit on the resources that belong to the Igbos and thereby making decisions. Imagine in the southeast, a Nottoman will tell you he is the owner of 20 hectares of land. Why is this supposed to be so? Because we we, we have given them the leaders, the Igbo elders, who are supposed to sit and support the Igbos, are uh, now backing uh, um, the, 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 the leaders or the northern leaders or those who are supposed to be foreigners in the land. You see that? Hmm. All right, um, you've edited anyway. That is what is currently going on 
presently let's uh let's quickly get you and um let's know what you equally think about what is currently happening it is a pleasure don't forget your comments don't forget to to leave down below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you